All right, so RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, it lets users remotely access any computer, making it very, very useful for IT admin, system administrator, but a target for attackers as well. So RDP traffic is actually encrypted using protocols like TLS to ensure it is secure. But this can be complicated for security investigation. In this video, we are going to learn how to decrypt the RDP traffic using Wireshark. So let's dive in. All right, so let's begin with getting our uh, RDP packet capture. Uh, I'll share you the link to download this packet capture. Um, this is, let's, let's first find out the RDP traffic. So you can do that by TCP port as well, by 3389, okay? So this is how it all starts. Usually, of course, from our address, once the system gets the uh, MAC address, for this it will exchange, it will send the ARP packet, which is address resolution protocol. After that, it will start the TCP three-way handshake. Once the TCP three-way handshake is completed between the client machine and the server, then it will try to perform the SSL handshake or TLS handshake, right? and um, client hellos, server hellos, and pre-master key get generated. Then the actual data get transmitted in the when you see the application data. These are all encrypted traffic, right? So in order to decrypt the traffic, decrypt the RDP traffic, we'll have to see what's the wrapper or the encryption protocol is being used, okay? So you can see that in the application data in here. Go to yeah go to the record layer this is where you can find tpkt tpkt is a transport uh, protocol which is used to encrypt the traffic and um, yeah it's it's a basically a wrapper okay now once you get that then you need to make sure you also have a key okay you need to make sure you have a private key available i'll i'll i will also share you the private key for the session from the machine itself okay if you don't don't know how to create one then i'll create a separate video if you want that video just write a write me in the comment that you need uh, you need a separate video uh, without key okay now uh, in order, if you have a key, which I have already, have a key play, is saved here, right? You see this cert key. Uh, I'll share you a link where you will find your key, your certificate, your uh, certi PAM file, key file, sorry. And um, uh, what you need is the cert key. okay? This is your private key to decrypt the traffic, okay? Now, uh, you can go to preferences, okay? Under this, you have protocols then search for TLS, okay, TLS, then go to edit option, R, you have RSA keys list, right, you see this here, RSA key list, and click on edit, okay, let me maximize this a little, once you do that, click on plus sign, and then what you can do is you can add, you know, uh, you can specify this, uh, as specific, uh, you know, the IP address, or you can keep it blank to apply it for everyone, right? And then you ha also have an option to specify the port. For us, it is uh, RDP. So we are going to do it only for the RDP. Then for protocol, because it's uh, it's our encryption protocol is TPKT. So we'll say TPKT, okay? And then key file. Now this, is, this will be our private key. So click on browse, go to select, go to this folder and select the cert.key. Once it is done, come back and say, okay, apply the changes. Okay, perfect. Now, now when you see the traffic, you see everything. Now, all the data you see, these are not encrypted. These are actual traffic at this moment. If you want to verify, you can just simply type RDP and perfect. Can you see that these are actual RDP traffic? These are all unencrypted, right? which wasn't possible earlier now no, because these are all encrypted these are all unencrypted decrypted the tra decrypted traffic you can see the actual packet data units of rdp protocol you can see what all happening uh, in the rdp sessions and all the relevant data as well so now you can investigate further and understand what all communication being happening in the rdp I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions in your mind.